Hi guys, it's Summers here and welcome along to episode 23 of the Solihull Moors career mode series on FIFA 20. As you can see, we are sat on 100 points dead, uh, 5 points behind Morecambe and 9 points behind Grimsby. So we still got it all to fight for here in the last few games. There's 6 left in total, so in this episode we will face off against Eastleigh away. We will then face off against Halifax at home. We will face off against Hartlepool at home. And then last game of the month is Barnet away. Okay guys then, here we go. Uh, we're heading down to the south coast for this first game of the episode as we face off against uh, Eastleigh at Silver Lake Stadium. Campbell, Dwan Patterson, Nystrom. Into Eddie Patterson. Storming through. Might as well take the pop. But he can't put it through the legs of the keeper. Good effort in the circumstances, but the keeper is able to push it around the post. Well done, Patterson, to intercept. Eddie Nystrom, round the corner. What a great ball. And there we have it. The first goal of this game, and it is right on the cusp of half-time. Taylor managing to convert that chance that was... Fielded by Nystrom, a lovely touch and great play around the corner to set his teammate away and he just slides that ball home. 1-0. Patterson's away, using those long legs to find some space here. Edge of the box, looks for his brother, Dwan's in, finds Nystrom. There's only one outcome there as Nystrom turns in the box and grabs himself another goal here. Oh, Smith did well there to steal that off of Taylor. Max. Oh, that could have quite easily have, uh, turned out quite differently, but it was an offside nonetheless. And a substitution incoming in here for Eastleigh. Nice bit of interchange play here, but Campbell's having none of it. Oh, that was well done to poke that through. And Volpini, oh, he's had a poor touch, but as usual, tenacious in his effort to get that back. Nystrom does well to get up. The referee has indicated there will be a oh. minimum of two minutes. Nystrom. Unbelievable play. Unbelievable play. Rolls his man. Oh, just one more he needed. Cook was offside. So unlucky there with that run. Nystrom, as he tries to come through, the defender just does enough there. And that means that Cook is offside. Well up Campbell and there we go, there's the full time whistle. It wasn't the best performance in the second half if I'm being completely honest but another 2-0 victory here on the road and we have to be really pleased with the way that uh, the, the back end of this season is starting to shape up. Cook there and Bjorn Nystrom once again a absolutely fabulous performance from the Swede. Right guys, so here we are, Johans Magnusson's report for the second month out in Sweden. And as you can see, I've already got down to Oscar Johnson, who is the newest recruit on this list. Uh, he's got 43 to 59 overall with a potential of 55 to 75. We've got Liam Person, 40 to 56 with a potential of 58 to 82. And lastly, we've got Liam Henriksen, 28 to 40, very low, but the potential's high, 61 to 89. So we'll just monitor these guys into next month. Right, and so Jonathan Watson's newbies on his list include Owen Cox, who's got 31 to 47 with a potential of 56 to 82. Ethan Morgan, 45 to 63 with a potential of 60 to 84. Morgan Brown, 47 to 63 with a potential of 64 to 88. Elliot Bennett, 48 to 68 with a potential of 54 to 76. And lastly, Jamie Richardson, 48 to 68 with a potential of 52 to 74. 
We'll keep these guys monitored going into the final month of the scout report. Okay guys, so Oliver McDonald down in Gabon has another batch of players come through. First up we've got Ibrahim Karamoko, 48 to 66 with a potential of 66 to 90, decent potential there. Umar Duhu though, 46 to 64, potential of 82 to 99. Now, I'm tempted to sign him straight into the academy uh, and try and get some growth out of him straight away to be honest because he's 19 years of age and... I just see that uh, potentially we could end up with a very good player there. So we're going to sign him straight into the academy. Uh, next up we've got uh, Diamani Diagana, 42 to 60 with a potential of 51 to 71. Umar Bonsu, 51 to 69 with a potential of 52 to 70. Alpha Wayoto, 39 to 59 with a potential of 57 to 83. Abdulia Canare, 36 to 54 with a potential of 58 to 84. And Kossi Canare, 48 to 68, with a potential of 50 to 70. We'll keep an eye on, an eye on all these guys as we go into the final month next time round. Right, guys, here we go. The second game of the episode as we face off against Halifax Town here at home at Damson Park. Good ball into the box, but Thomas is able to grab that up. Quick throw out here to Patterson, and we're underway. Gonna push this forward. Looks out wide here for Harbour, who's overlapping. Man, this geezer's got some pace. We'll take the free kick. And a yellow card there for his troubles, Chris Bennett. Lots of possession here for Halifax as they try desperately to break us down to get the first of the game. Got to keep our shape here. Offside. Fortunately there, the offside flag did go up as Max Allen decides not to track the run. Nice little back heel. Taylor had already gone too far though and we've had to retreat from that position. It's back into Taylor again. Off to Nystrom. Oh, King read that exceptionally well there. And we can't get the shot away. Quick break here from Halifax. Just skewed wide there by the Halifax man. Go on, Volpini. Cuts inside. It's tripped by the man. Surely a free kick, surely a yellow card, and that will have both their fullbacks now in trouble. Come on, ref. Decides not to reach for his pocket by the looks of it. Oh, winding up the shot there was uh, Harbour. Nystrom. Oh, he's found it. No offside flag. A fantastic ball by Cal. Uh, Campbell there. Now, how long does it take to put the offside flag up? Seriously. I mean, he was offside, but... We go again. I'm going to drive through here. Nice layoff to Patterson. Yeah, it's got to be fabulous work by Fredrickson and Nystrom there. To get us ahead, just ahead of half time, momentum had swayed in our direction. You could see it coming. It was only a matter of time before we put the, goal, the a ball in the back of the net. And it's a great bit of link-up play again by Nystrom. The way that he's able to drop into pockets of space and then turn a ball around the corner. He is just a fabulous player. 1-0. Mollet there with the interception, knowing where his man was and then feeds it off to Volpini who's on the way through, comes back off for Nystrom and he's gone again, yes, easy boys, easy boys, 
That is great anticipation by Valpini there as he saw the keeper coming towards him and all of the men were basically taken out of the game by that little cheeky dink over the top of them to Taylor at the back post who just slots it home and says thanks very much boys Nordstrom's turned his man Burns him, and there we go, bottom corner. What a great goal by Bjorn Nyström. Exceptional, exquisite ball into him, and the turn and burn. That defender is just left on his heels as he turns away from him and finds the bottom corner. Fabulous goal. Mullet's got you sussed. Thomas, great distribution work here as we find Alan to Raff. Cook into Rafferty. Great little turn and he's driving into the heart of the opposition. Oh, Pierce can't get through. But we've still got possession of the ball almost as the referee decides that's enough. Halifax have had enough. 3-0 fantastic performance by the lads once more and we keep our unbeaten streak going ok guys here we go the third game of the episode here as we face off against Hartlepool and I've just found out that we are in the box seat now as Grimsby have beaten Morecambe meaning that if we can overturn Morecambe in our fixture against them we are going up but we need to win every single game from here on in. Brendan Rafferty off to Nystrom. High press game here from Hartlepool. They might come to rue that. As Nystrom gets through and there's only one player that is going to continue to lift the performance here at Solihull and that is Bjorn Nystrom. He is absolutely on fire. Awesome stuff from Bjorn. Great little flick off from Volpini around the corner, but Nystrom does all the hard work to get into the box and free himself off for that finish. Great shot, great finish. 1 0. Max is like, nah, mate, you ain't going round me. Into the box, though, and Kelly comes out to save our blushes there. Ball out. Great work by Brendan Rafferty to find. Volpini and that is a rash challenge in the centre of the park must be a yellow at least and so it is Peter Collins there getting a bit exuberant in the middle of the park good interception <laughs> he has done you like a kipper son go on Volpini do him gets the ball in oh my goodness what a goal all the way from that position where Brendan Rafferty knocks the ball over the top to Volpini to chase that is a stellar goal they're well up for it today the lads what a ball in and Taylor great finish great work there by the lads a great bit of back heel play Slides it in. Oh, that is so unlucky. They are really playing well today. No, mate. Allen's all day long. And there we go into the half time break. A stellar performance in the first half. And I can only think that there's going to be more of that in the second. Nice ball into the box and Rose has managed to get his head on it. Campbell just stood still, allowed the man into the box, gave him the time to be able to nod that one past the keeper. And we now find ourselves at 2-1 here against Hartlepool. Nice ball over the top, but Campbell lost his man. Poor work there by Campbell for all a change.
Oh, what a header. My goodness, Patterson. Nearly snuck in. Just clips the outside of the post. Great header. Patterson into Nordstrom, turns his man. No room at the in as he tries to get us another goal towards the end of this game, but we've got the result we needed. We've beaten Hartlepool here 2 1. Right then, here we go. The last game of the episode as we face off against Barnet away here at the Hive. Barnet got us sat in deep already here, but Patterson's managed to break up the play and he's away. He'll set Volpini free. Great bit of play here that's got Volpini in. Chips it to the back stick where Fredrickson's waiting. Another one of those goals where we absolutely trick the living crap out of the goalkeepers and the defenders with those little chip balls to the back stick. Volpini waits, waits, finds Fredrickson. And it's on his weak foot there. So a great finish by Fredrickson at the near post. 1-0. Max. Patterson. Into Nystrom. Turned his man. Bloody hell. 2-0 already. Great finish. The lads are definitely up for this game. Great ball by Patterson, but look at the way in which Nordstrom just makes so much space for himself to finish that goal. Lovely finish. 2-0. Lays it off to Volpini, who's managed to find some space in the box. Chips it back in. Rafferty. Tries to curl one from the edge of the box, and it wasn't a bad effort there. Just not enough on it. One two here. Game going on between the Barnet players as we close out the half at 2 0 up. Gone Raff. Comes inside. Need to lay the ball off quicker, Raff. Oh, teasing ball to the back stick there. Taylor. Oh, Nordstrom nearly drags it around the man. But all Barnett can do at the moment is lump it upfield and hope that they can take some of this pressure off because we are absolutely pounding at the door. Fredrickson. Overlap here from Volpini. Cuts back. Fires it into Fredrickson. Oh, he's trying to come through the pack, but he just can't find the space. And he breaks down again, but Patterson's got this one out here to Rafferty. Poor pass. Great steal. One more. Cook. Gone, Raff. Gone, Raff. Can't finish it. Shorter confidence at the moment, Rafferty. The referee has indicated well done, boy. Campbell and Patterson. Allen spins it out to Nordstrom. Off to Cook. One more. And he goes again. And the referee has called time on it as the ball was pumped up to Rafferty and it came back out. We've got our victory here. Close out the episode with yet another victory against Barnet this time on the road. Fabulous performance throughout. And we drive on towards those promotion spots. Okay guys, so there we have it. And as you can see, we are in second position. We've gone past Morecambe. And they have a game in hand on us. 
but we have them next. The next fixture in the next episode will be against Morecambe, and that is the defining ma- moment in our season. If we are ma- if we manage to overturn Morecambe, then we are going up, and I can't see anything other than us getting a victory. Because to be quite frank, we have now gone unbeaten for such a long period of time that I cannot see us slipping up at this stage there's two games left in our season we have Morecambe and we have uh, Stockport in the last game of the season so there's six points there potentially on the table and we're going up we are going up so I hope you've enjoyed this episode if you have don't forget to slap a like on it and if you're new around here don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can stay in touch with all my content coming forward especially as we're going into league two next season now by the looks of it and i'm really looking forward to seeing how a non-league team does in league two but for now i'm out of here